Hi everyone, this is Guillaume from Lois. In this video, I'll show you how to support multiple languages in your store if you're using one of our themes. We're gonna follow these steps. Publishing languages, setting up markets, we'll see in a moment uh, what markets are, enabling language selectors in the theme, and finally, translating the content. So let's start with publishing languages. For that, I'm going to the admin and I'm opening the settings from the bottom left corner of the screen. And then I can go to the languages tab. This is where I'll be able to add a language. I'm going to add French. And once it's added, I need to hit publish. So the first step is done. Let's focus on the markets now. So from the same settings screen, I'm going to the Markets tab now. By default, I see that the international market is inactive. I'll click on Manage to be able to then click on Activate. You can add many more markets depending on your business needs. Markets are also useful for when your store supports different currencies. But we'll keep it simple for this example and I'm linking the Shopify support documentation about markets in the description below if you need it. Let's go to the theme editor now. Language selectors can be enabled in two places, at the very top above the header and in the footer. From the left sidebar, I'm opening the announcement bar section. In the settings, there's a checkbox that I can enable, and as you can see, I now have my language selector enabled. The same setting can be found in the footer, but if I select French now, not much will happen until I complete the final step, which is to translate my default content, which is in English. Translations are not a native platform feature, but there are many translation apps you can install for this. And I suggest you go with the free app provided by Shopify, which is called Translate and Adapt. It's pretty straightforward, so I won't spend time showing you how it works. I'll just tell you that you can use the Auto Translate feature to save some time, but just make sure to review and overwrite some of the translated content, as it may not be 100% accurate. And also, in case you set up color filters and color swatches in your store, the translation might break this feature as it relies on color names to be fully functional. So you might just want to leave it blank in the app. This is not a bug from the theme. It's a little issue with the app, but I know Shopify is currently working to fix this. So by the time you watch this video, it may be resolved. Just double check on your store and temporarily remove the filter translation if there seems to be an issue. So there you go, your store is translated and your clients can shop in the language they want. Thanks a lot for watching and for having chosen a theme from Lois. And good luck with your business. See you soon.